We are not in the business of giving up two-on-ones, okay? You want to get up and get this guard out of here, okay? Now I have backside help right here. If this skip pass is made here, I have plenty of time to recover. But you put, look at the spot you put this big in. It's, it's a two-on-one. Do you think this is going to end well? Defending off an offensive rebound is just like transition defense. You have to communicate, okay? So this player right here has got to say, I've got LeBron, okay? So Denny Avdia knows i got to find somebody else. You have to say something, though. If you don't communicate, look what happens. Two people guarding one, and that means somebody for the Lakers is wide open. This is a total calamity. All right, Kyle Kuzma, you just made a layup. Nice. Please sprint back. Ball just went in. Kristaps Porzingis. Please sprint back. Yet Kristaps Porzingis is going to jog, and Kyle Kuzma is going to celebrate for too long. Look at look at Kyle Kuzma celebrating and Porzingis jogging back. Okay, they so they straight ISO LeBron here. All right, so you got to bring a double team. All right, this player right here has got to come over here. We're going to force. We're going to get up. That's most important. We're going to force LeBron into this double. Okay, then this player guarding right here just rotates up here on a kickout pass. This player rotates here, this player rotates here, and then the man that originally went to double right here is just going to fall back onto this last Lakers option. Do you understand? But you can't just leave this player on an island and sagging. Wizards are in a zone. I am still hedging. Get this big up for now, okay? There's no place for this player to roll to. You're pushing this guard out this way. Does he make a skip pass here? I can easily recover over, okay? But instead, look what happens. You give this guard the lane that collapses the entire zone, and it leaves this player on the wing wide open. Cannot lean towards the screen. Watch this Wizards player here. Look at him lean towards the screen that way. So that's how you get blown by the other way. Okay, you don't want to play too much up on this guard right here, okay? If you have to take a half step back and get screened, that's totally fine, okay? Stop. So if you have to just get screened, it's okay, because we're going to hedge. Backside help is literally right here. This player can occupy these Lakers players who are two passes away because the ball's all the way out here. But look at this. You're going to try and fight over the top of the screen, and as you're fighting over the top of the screen, you're giving this Lakers guard the angle, and now it's a two-on-one. If you're this Wizards player, don't gamble. Just get back and make sure you're ahead of the ball, okay? Look what happens, though, when you gamble. You're gambling, so now look. Now you're not ahead of the ball. So this player can't stay with LeBron. He now has to go towards the ball himself. Just awful. You do not... You do not worry about matchups in transition. You just get to the nearest body. Porzingis is guarding Russell Westbrook. It's a cross match, whatever. Avdia, you got to take this Lakers big. It's a cross match, whatever. When you start worrying about matchups in transition, that happens. In transition, you just get to the nearest body. So if you're Bradley Beal, please take the ball, okay? Cody Kispert's on the wing. He needs to stay on the wing. When you start worrying about matchups in transition, this is what happens. If you are Kyle Kuzma, please just stay underneath LeBron James. This is like the worst gamble I have ever seen. What is that? I am not in the business of giving up two-on-ones, especially when LeBron James is the ball handler coming off the ball screen. Get up and hedge, Porzingis. There is no place for this player to roll to. The Lakers spacing's terrible. The backside defender's right there. Instead, you want to give up a two-on-one. Nice. Okay, I want to send LeBron James where I have help. Kristaps Porzingis is begging to help me. So please get up and force LeBron this way. If you send him this way, there's nobody that can help you. Okay, if you're Kyle Kuzma, you cannot lean towards this screen here. Watch Kyle Kuzma lean towards the screen right there. So you're going to get blown by the other way now. If you are Kyle Kuzma, you get back to a body in transition. Look at Kyle Kuzma. Where is he getting back to? He's getting back to the middle of nowhere. So of course you give up an open three. Not sad guarding LeBron James. If you can't guard him, then you got to get up and you got to double. And this player's looking like he's coming over to double. So now I'm forcing LeBron this way to the teeth of my defense. Okay? And not a drive and kick here. This player's up the line and rotating here. Then the man that doubles is going to push Porzingis into the corner. Okay? But I mean, just sagging off LeBron because you can't stay with him one-on-one -on -one isn't an answer to anything. 
Okay, so Kristaps Porzingis gets caught in a mismatch on the perimeter with Dennis Schroeder, okay? So look at this Wizards player here. If I f get up and force him this way, can easily just stunt and recover back out here, okay? But if I get beat this way, there's no help. This player's going to have to come all the way in into the paint where he's never going to be able to get back out. So you force him into the wrong area, not the teeth of your defense, you cannot backpedal in transition. You have to sprint back. Look what happens when you backpedal in transition like this. Look, now you're not ahead of the ball. So instead of being ahead of the ball by sprinting back, and this player can stay with LeBron, this player has to go to the ball because you have given up the angle here into the lane. So it's just going to end up, of course, in a LeBron and one. Okay, so this Wizards player does a great job of getting in the gap and getting this ball handler's dribble picked up. See, here we go, right there, stop, his dribble's picked up. So now your only focus needs to be to get out to the corner. Instead, what is this Wizards player doing? He's going towards the ball. I am not in the business of giving LeBron James the lane. Never in the business of that. Get all the way up here and hedge and get him out of the lane. I have backside help right here. If LeBron throws a skip pass here, I can easily recover. But you're just going to hand LeBron James the lane? What kind of defense is that? If you are trapping LeBron James off this ball screen, backside help is a total non-negotiable. This player has to be up here. And if LeBron James throws a skip pass here, we can either try and recover, okay, um, or this player can then go here on the air time of that pass and you can fall down here. But this pass cannot be made. You give the Lakers numbers and this player's also just wide open. Okay, so maybe after this game, the Wizards can review trapping, okay? So you're trapping LeBron. This player has got to move up, okay? This pass cannot be made to Austin Reeves. This player then slides in and occupies these Lakers players two passes away. But if you trap and don't get to one pass away with the man rolling, it, what a disaster. This is so beyond sad. I, I need to take a moment to just cry. Please get LeBron out of the lane. Backside defender right here. If LeBron throws a skip pass all the way here, I can recover. But you want to give LeBron James the lane. Wow. Okay, so you again trap LeBron. This time it gets deflected. This is very much still a 50-50 ball. Stop. If you are these Wizards players here, stay home, okay? Because if LeBron comes up with this ball, we're giving up a bucket. And, and he does. I mean, come on.